as shown a short while ago by Graeme Linhan in Auckland on his tour. Graeme Linhan, thank you so much for joining me. When were you supposed to be in Australia? Uh, I think I was supposed to be in Friday night, uh, late Friday night, about a, about a week ago now. Um, yeah, we, 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 we were told that a visa usually takes a day or, 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 or just a little bit longer. And it's been, I don't know, I think it's been more like a month by now. So uh, we had to change our first date. I had to come straight to New Zealand, which did give me uh, the visa in a, in a day. In fact, I think it was about half an hour. And uh, yeah, here I am waiting to come, uh, waiting to either be told that I can or, or can't come into your country. This is extraordinary. Graeme, you, 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 you must be a very dangerous man because this government was giving visas to people in Gaza within a day of application, in some cases, a day, people in Gaza, terrorist-run area. But for you, a comedian from Britain, you haven't got a yes and you haven't got a no after all these weeks. Do you find that rather extraordinary? I do. Even now, uh, the idea that the most dangerous people in the world are, are people who support women's rights and oppose the uh, mutilation and sterilization of children in gender clinics, uh, I find it astonishing that uh, we're being kept from, you know, putting on live events, from being heard, or, you know, my book is hidden by activists in bookshops. Um, it's it's it'll never fail to amaze me. It's the most astonishing time to be alive. I, I even even though New Zealand was was uh, very easy for me to uh, get into, I I was still met by two policemen at the airport, uh, and the whole thing is just surreal. It 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 really is like going from writing sitcoms to being in one. You know, you were met by two policemen at the New Zealand airport. What was that about? Well, I guess there must have. Fla I guess my my name now just appearing on a ticket must be flagged up, and uh, they were very polite. Look, luckily they were TED fans, so they were laughing at everything I said, even though I wasn't trying to be funny, which is always a good sign. Uh, but they were very sweet, and they just kind of spirited me through uh, the airport. Um, but it was a little bit, you know. They immediately kind of reassured me when they saw me. They said, "Nothing's wrong. Don't worry." Because the idea of going, heading back after a twenty-hour flight was 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 pretty traumatic, but um, no, they just wanted to make sure that uh, they were aware of my movements, so that if there were was any trouble, they could uh, step in. I think the, the the experience they had with Kelly J Keen last year, uh, where uh, you know the, she her visit was just met with extraordinary violence and aggression, has kind of made them realise that maybe they need to. Uh, you know, understand this issue a little bit better. So my time here so far has been just wonderful, you know. Yes, what was done uh, to her, uh, Kelly J. Keane, was just, in New Zealand in particular, was absolutely disgraceful. In fact, a thug that punched one of her supporters in the face, a 71-year-old woman, three times in the face, uh, didn't even get a, a conviction recorded against him and uh, his name's been suppressed. I mean, it's just extraordinary. But Australia, yeah. is, is Australia the only country in the world so far that has denied you, not denied you, but uh, simply uh, not got around to giving you a visa to come and say what you want to say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never had a problem before, Uh I don't know. And, 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 you know, just once I would like a single person to tell me what I am saying that is so controversial. Single sex bases for women have been in position for 100 years. Uh, everyone agrees that women's sports should be fair and that male cheats shouldn't be entering them. Uh, the WPATH files, which have just been released, is a 242-page report showing that so-called trans health care is endangering the people it's being used on. So what am I saying that's so dangerous? What am I saying that's so evil that I have to jump through all these hoops to just enter a country? Uh, no one will tell me. No one will tell me. So, um, again, it's a slightly Kafkaesque situation that I find myself in uh, where my voice is being suppressed, even though no one can tell me what my voice is saying that is so offensive. 
Well, uh, Graham Lennon, uh, you know, you're a, a man of the world. You've been in controversy for a long time. Can you give us in one sentence, two sentences maybe, the line that you think would most scare the Australian government into not giving you a visa that uh, Australian audiences are now going to miss out on? Uh, try to smuggle in your message through this show that, it's been, that the government's trying to censor. What is it that's so dangerous that they don't want our audience to hear? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, women's rights are human rights. That's it. Well, that's uh, terrifying. I'll try to... Um, I hope this doesn't get censored, this show. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll see. You've said it, Graeme. Uh, dangerous yeah. stuff. I can see why the government's been panicked, why the Minister for Immigration is hiding under his desk. I think Canberra is shaking, but uh, there it is. We're always trying to get our audience the best that's thought and said, and sometimes not even the best that's thought and said. But thank you so much, mate. I think it's a disgrace what's happening to you. I apologise, not that it's any of my fault, but, uh, mate, we have got a government that you wouldn't believe. Thank you so much for uh, persevering. Thank you. And uh, I do hope I get to visit.